Hello, my friends. I am Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. Before I begin my devotion, I want to ask uh, a, a, per a moment of personal privilege. I want to share a joy and a concern. My joy is that last week, uh, Dee was released uh, by her surgeon. She's allowed to drive, and today she begins her cardio rehab. You know, her progress has been a little slower than she would like, but she's really doing well and resuming more of her daily activities. We thank you so very much for your continued prayers. On a more humble note, I really need to ask your prayers for my sister, Terry, who earlier this week was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Please keep Terry and her husband, Bill, in your prayers as they seek treatment at Hershey Medical Center. My thoughts today for our devotion comes uh, from just a few words from Acts 1, verse 8, that says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. And it's just that second half of the verse that I want us to focus on today. You, you will be my witnesses. You know, the other day I was in a meeting with pastors, and we're talking about how are we going to get back to normal? How do we continue to keep safety as a priority while finding new pathways to being the church and re-engaging in ministry to our congregation and the community? Those who shared had similar stories that there were folks that felt that we moved too slowly and others who were still cautiously content to connect via online worship. We decided that we were still in these perplexing in-between times. And I think the same, true, the same holds true here at Wesley. But you know, I'm hopeful. We once again had our largest attendance this past Sunday, and I'm so glad that more folks are comfortable joining us for in-person worship. We're offering children's church, and it was so good to see more families in church this week. This Sunday, we are having our first family reunion, just informal small group gatherings so that we can reconnect, celebrate our successes, and talk about the challenges ahead as we move forward. But in each of these, Wesley Church is finding ways to reconnect. As we re-engage, the challenge that remains is to renew being witnesses within our own circle of family, friends, neighbors, and co-workers. My friends, we need to get back into the practice of inviting folks back to church and inviting new folks to join us. We're moving outside starting May 30th, and that's going to be a nice change of pace this summer, and I hope a safer way for anyone who might be hesitant in coming inside just yet. I want to also encourage you to invite our na your neighborhood kids to register for Vacation Bible School on July 18th through 22nd. And please step up to help Amy as part of our Vacation Bible School team. What a neat way to witness to your faith, to share your faith, and have fun with the kids. We need to think about new ways also to reach our community with the gospel, to reach beyond the walls of the church, and to offer the love of Jesus to a hurting world. And we need to be ready to help Amy as she reboots Mom to Mom in August. She's going to need help with meals and the children's program and other things. She would love to hear, if, you know, if you'd be interested in helping her with that program. All these are simple ways that we can be witnesses at church and to our community. They're the beginning steps of Wesley Church once again being the vital part of West of Marysville and our surrounding area. But for these to happen, we each need to do our part as we invite others to participate and we share in the leadership of these ministries. You, you will be my witnesses. That's what Jesus needs us to be right here in our town. And it'll be the way that all churches in every town find their way back from this pandemic. Let's be witnesses for Jesus, inviting others to be a part of our faith community and sharing the love of Christ with others. Amen.
Well, now some announcements to share with you. Uh, on May 16th and 23rd at 3 p.m., mentioned them earlier, we are having some informal gatherings at the church that we're calling family reunions. Please join Wesley family for a time of fellowship, an opportunity just to reconnect. We're going to celebrate some of the good things we accomplished even during the difficult time of the pandemic. And then we're going to talk about our hope and our faith for the brighter future for the Wesley Church. These gatherings will be held right outside behind the NPR. Remember to bring your chair and uh, please do sign up um, via the church office by phone uh, or email. Uh, our Sunday service continues to be in person. This week, uh, we'll be in the sanctuary and also live stream our service. Uh, remember, on May 30th, we'll be moving our in-person service outdoors, weather permitting. For all in-person services, please uh, contact the church office by phone or email to reserve your place. And don't forget to register for VBS. Uh, that's July 18th through the 22nd. It's in the evening from 6 to 8 p.m., and we are registering children ages three through fifth grade. And there's a tab on the church website, www.wesleyum.org. All children are welcome, and we look forward to helping them experience how Jesus pulls us through those tough times. Well, I have always enjoyed these messages and, and getting a chance to visit with you this way. And let's close our time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, as we find springtime so hopeful, we're also so excited to see more people back in church and more ministry happening. Help us to be your witnesses in our community and to share your love with others. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for visiting with me today. We're going to talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.